Hello everyone, welcome to this video where we are going to explore this pretty long cumulative frequency curve question. And the first thing that caught Mr. Tan's mind would be that oh, in total there is 120 pupils. So this is 120. And part A, our focus will now be the number of students who scored less than 45 marks. Less than is pretty straightforward as in a cumulative frequency table. Each point denotes less than. So for example, 45, I'm going to zoom in to the cumulative frequency frequency curve here and 45 marks so if you can follow here i'm going to just highlight in green 45 is here 45 marks so at this point is 45 so if we follow this we'll reach here and so i will then be able to gather that there is 66 students who scored less than 45. These are the students who scored here, which is from 10 to 45. So there are 66 students, which is part of this whole portion of the graph here. Okay, and we have successfully found the answer for part one. 66 okay hello everyone welcome to part a part two of this particular problem which is this part here that i'm going to highlight so we are supposed to find fraction of the students who failed where the passing mark is 34 so essentially, we are actually talking about people who failed means we are talking about students who scored lower or less than 34. Okay. And so from these, and we want to know the fraction. Okay. So first, of course, we must know how many students who failed this exam. Huh? So coming back to here, so I'm going to zoom in on the passing mark, which is here, where this is my 34. And from here, when I go up to the curve, I found that there is 26 students who scored less than, which is this part of the graph here, 34 meaning these 26 students failed this particular music exam and so you will see that step one we must find this 26 after which the fraction then we do need to take into account what is our total number of students which is also found here the question says so this is our total number of students who set for this particular music exam and with that i can then successfully find my fraction easily because i will have 26 students out of 120 students who failed this exam the simplest form will be 13 over 60. And that will be the answer for A, part 2. Hello everyone, welcome to this part of the video where we are going to focus on A, part 3. So let's take it slowly. Find this value of X. If... 22.5% of the students obtain at least X marks in this music exam. Okay, 
So of course, the first thing I'm going to zoom in is how many students? 22.5 pupils. So with that in mind, I would want to know the number of students. That will mean that 22.5% of the total 120, that will give me 27 students. Okay? Now the next thing though is this statement about at least x marks. This means that this 27 students, 27 students actually scored more than or equal to this x marks. Alright. And therefore, since we are talking about more than or equals to and not less than, I'm going to find the number of students who got less than. That will be 93. Okay? Using the total minus these 27 students who scored more than or less or equals to X. So now I know there are 93 students who scored less than X. Okay? So that's the something that we need to take note of. And since now I know it's 93, let me go back to the graph and try to find at 93, which is at this point here. What is this X marks? So if you can follow the dotted line, then you would then see that, hey, slowly, I would be able to get my answer for X. And so, at this point here, X would be 56 at this point. Okay, and therefore, the answer would be 56. So what this means? What does this 56 means, right? Going back to this question. So this essentially means that there are 93 students which represents this part of the graph here. Okay, so this is more ninety three of the students got less than this fifty six. That's why they belong to the lower part of this curve. And where does the twenty seven comes in? Twenty seven actually belongs to this part here. Yeah. So this part of the curve, right, if you look closely, they do score 56 and above. So where is this 27? So if I may, where is this 27? This 27 is actually here. And where is the 97? 93, sorry. 93 is actually here. So total is 120 students, out of which 27 students scored 56 marks and above, which is at least 56 marks. And 93 of the students got less than 50 six marks and that is what this 
part three is actually asking for. All right. Let's move on to the next part of this problem. Hello everyone, welcome to this part of the problem where we are going to construct a frequency distribution table and then to end off with a histogram. Hmm. So that is what we are going to do. Two things, frequency distribution table, histogram. Okay, and the frequency distribution table, we do have to use these intervals. So let's see, how can we do it with a cumulative frequency table? Step one, we need to first of all construct a cumulative frequency table. From this cumulative frequency curve or graph, if you may. And so I'm going to explain to you how this cumulative frequency table works. Okay, so this is a cumulative frequency table, not the frequency table yet. Okay, and so zooming in, you can then see that how do I get the value of x less than 20? I'm zooming here. How do I get this for? So if I zoom in, you can then see that is how I get it. I literally get it from the graph itself. So 20 and at this point, I would have 4 students scoring 20 marks and below less than 20. So that is where my 4 how I get my 4. So moving on, I will have my less than 30. How do I get 16? Again, I zoom in to 30, which is here. Then from here, I will get my number of students who got less than 30 and in this case 16 and that's how I get my 30 and 16 so going back again now is 40 and 49 so I continue this process okay so 40 is here so that's where I'm going to continue this way of finding things and eventually I will get ah forty nine which is in the middle okay so that's where I will then get my forty nine from here so you can see slowly but surely you will eventually get all the answers so this part here do need to do slow and steady okay so that's my 49 where i get from here so i continue for my 50 which will give me 80 so my 50 will be here so I continue and indeed it will give me 80 continue for 60 which will give me 99 So as you can see, slowly but surely, we will eventually get all the values out. Which 
which is in the middle. Ninety-nine, seventy. You should get one hundred and eleven. Which is here. So I'm going to just slowly. Go up and eventually indeed it is in the middle. One 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 hundred and eleven. And of course the last one usually is the total number, so this one I don't even need to draw from the graph itself but if you really want to 80 will be the last part here so indeed it is usually the number of students because it is all the way at the end of this particular cumulative frequency curve here okay so now we have successfully constructed the cumulative frequency table but the question require us to construct a histogram which require a frequency table so now what so now i'm going to zoom in to see how from a cumulative frequency table how can we then have the frequency table how does this come about this frequency table let me share with you if i want between 10 and 20 this is where all the number comes in what is it for because 10 and 20 is also less than 20 and there are only four students who scored less than 20 then what about students where the x is between 20 and 30 well i'm going to use my 16 which is the 30 so 16 minus 4 16 30 minus away my 4 which is 20 you will get 12 okay that will give me that 12 students score more than or equals to 20 but less than 30 let's continue so if i were to find the number of students who scored more than or equals to 30 but less than 40 I would then have to again look at my score for 40 minusing my 30 so you can see that I just need to locate these two value so 49 minus away my 16 to give me 33 students so I continue this method in order to find the number of students who scored more than or equals to 40 but less than 50 I find all the students that is less than 50 minusing away all the students that is less than 40 so it will be 80 minus 49 and I will get 31 <coughs> so you can see as we continue to find the number of students who scored more than or equals to 50 but less than 60, I just need to use the number of students scoring less than 60 minusing away the number of students who scored less than 50. 
that will get 19 of them. So as we continue, we will eventually get all the answers here. And finally, 80. Of course, total is still 120. Now, with this frequency table, then we can construct our frequency table. Okay? So from the frequency table, you should gather that there are 4 students who scored between 10 and 20, 12 students who scored more than or equals to 20, less than 30, so on and so forth. So this is how the frequency table relates to the histogram that we are eventually required to construct and with that we have come to the end of this video so if you like this video do give it a thumbs up thank you for watching and have a nice day